Hello all and welcome to SourceCAD tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at break and join tools of AutoCAD. So let's first start with the break tool. On the home ribbon and modify panel you will find here break at two points, break at single point and join tools. So these are tools which are going to look for this tutorial. Now select this point break. Now let's say that we want to break this line at two points. For that, select this line and now as soon as you select it, you will find on the command line specify second break point prompts. Ok, it's asking me for the second point but what about first point? It has not yet asked me for the first point. So it is the option for first point. So let's select this first point and specify our first break point using this point which I have already made here. So click on this point. Now it's asking me for second break point go ahead and select your second break point and there it is you'll find that portion in between these two lines in between these two points is deleted is removed okay let's undo this and repeat the procedure again go to break at two points select it okay now this time please have a close look now here I am selecting this line but I am selecting it randomly I have clicked it here now since I have clicked at this point it's asking me for the second point remember my first point becomes this this click will select this line as well as tell AutoCAD that this is the first selection point now suppose I want to select second point as the midpoint so the line will be removed from this point to this point now let's go and select this point there it is so the first point becomes the point of selection of line and the second point which we specify this method is not as accurate as I have used in the previous example so that is why we just select first and second point according to my first example okay now let's go to break at single point now you can see that this is a completely single line once you click on this, go to this and the complete line is highlighted. This is a single unit. If you want to break it into two different units, you can do so. So select this and now it's asking me for only one break point. So now I'll select this middle point as the break point and see, here is the different lines. So this line got separated into two different lines. Now you can select, move them. Okay, so this is what a break at single point does. Okay, let's go ahead and break this circle. Okay, now let's select break at two points now. So go to break at two points and let's break this one into two different points. Now select our circle. So I'll click this point and as you know that this point becomes our first breaking point also. Now it's asking me for second break point. So now for second break point I'll go to this point and the portion between these two points will be removed now let's select this break again select this point and this time I'll go and select this point the portion between these two points are now removed okay let's go to join and attempt to join it so will we be able to join it so let's do this select join and now click on this point and on this point and press enter okay this joins these two points and this also follows the curvature of the circle now will we be able to join these two points okay yes definitely we'll be able to join these points and we can close this as a complete circle for this select this point Okay, and what about the second point? It's not prompting me for the second point and we don't have a second point. So now go ahead and press enter. Once you do this, you'll find an option here for close. Click on close and this will close to a complete circle. So we can definitely join it. Now let's apply this join feature for simple lines. Select join and these two lines are collinear. Let's apply to these two lines. So click on this point and this point and press enter and yes we have a single line 
completely joined but the join operation cannot be performed on this this or this line so these lines cannot be joined so select this point select this point press enter nothing will happen again join select this and this nothing will happen select this and this and nothing will happen again but if you will join these two points for example here I have joined these two points now let's go and join it so select join and enter and yes they'll join they'll join to a complete polyline okay you can simply use this feature to join many different features also for example let's say we have an arc and we have a line here make sure that this arc and line joins at the point they are connected at this point they are separate but they are connected now let's make them a single unit so go to join select these two entities press enter and there it is these two objects are now joined into a single polyline so you can join variety of different objects into a single unit using the join tool and consecutively you can also use break tool to break objects into different components so that was in join and break tool thank you for watching have a nice day